Dude, just experience it, it's awesome. <laughs> I've learned so much in this past week that I could take back to my family and friends. Oh, I learned so much. Like, I'm actually thinking of changing my career into this kind of career. The goal of the Verna J. Kirkness Science Education Program is to increase the number of First Nations, Métis, and Inuit students graduating from science and engineering programs in Canada. The program offers scholarships to Aboriginal grade 11 students to spend a week in a research lab at the University of Manitoba. During their week on campus, the students meet role models and mentors and experience the excitement of doing scientific research. In our school division, we need to um, have uh, an increased number of students that are uh, interested in science. And the only way that we're going to do this is by turning them on. And this, a program like this turns them on because it's not coming out of a book. It allows them to see themselves as a scientist, see themselves as a student at the university. The program is hosted by the University of Manitoba, where it has been embraced by faculty, staff, and researchers. Yeah. We see it as a real important opportunity to engage students in some of the uh, activities that are going on in different researchers' labs so that they get a, a hands-on experience of understanding what science is all about, what kind of research can be done, and that they can make connections between the value of research in the labs with some issues in their home communities. We want to ensure that this is a welcoming environment and we want to enhance the experience of Aboriginal students. I'm so thrilled to be part of this process and to welcome these young people to come to our university because it all starts somewhere, right? And this is the beginning. There are our future leaders, these young people. I want to be a doctor one day, so I have to have science. <laughs> it's interesting. Like, we got to collect water from different types of places, like the Red River, a pool, uh, water fountain, rainwater. Yeah, and how to analyze the water to see how much bacteria was in there. And that was interesting. I found it really fascinating. <laughs> a key aspect of the program is the pairing of participants with a university mentor in the lab. The mentors have the opportunity to give back to the community while helping young people feel the thrill of doing research. I think this is actually very good. <laughs> Monday morning, they were just very quiet and lots of blank stares when we asked them questions. But then to see them when we actually like, when they get their hands on stuff and actually doing stuff, like they get so excited about it. So I really like seeing that change in them um, and not just them getting excited, but when, you know, it definitely explains something to them and I get the blank stare and I'm like, okay. So then I try and explain it the other way and then I see the light bulb. Like it's a very satisfying, like enjoyable experience for me. And it's been really amazing to me that they have been able to, um, I guess, learn really complicated uh, concepts so quickly. I think it's uh, important that students in high school get a chance to get excited about post-secondary education. I wish I was already in university. Like, I feel like I'm already like, you know, coming to work every day and just from being on the campus for a week. So for our traditional bannock, we had put different flowers, um, like barley, whole wheat, to see the difference, to try and make traditional food healthy. One of the students said, this is very important for our communities because we have to worry about diabetes and these type of diseases, and this is the type of thing we need to integrate into our diet. They completely saw the relationship with disease and diet and how this food could help their communities and how they could use it. The program's namesake, Dr. Verna J. Kirkness, is a national leader in education who continues to inspire students and contribute to excellence in Aboriginal education. I hope that from here on they're sort of the ambassadors. They'll go out and tell others what a great experience it is to get in the field of science. This is the pool? This is the pool? Which pool? This is the university It's a great program and like more students should be able to come from different communities. To experience this in science, you learn something new every day, every single day, whether you've been to school for years or you've been there for a week, you learn something new every day. And in science, you could help yourself, the earth, and people.